Well, greetings, my friends. Yesterday after class, we allowed time for discussion and for questions. I really enjoyed that, and we'll continue to do that every Sunday. It gives you an opportunity to ask questions about things that I had not covered or about things I did cover but did not cover very clearly. And so I really enjoy that and appreciate you asking these questions. There were a number of great comments and questions, and I just wanted to offer insight into one of them. It was the very first question. I had already mentioned the trumpet mentioned in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and juxtaposed that against the trumpet judgments in Revelation 8, which we looked at yesterday morning. Now, I mentioned the trumpets in Revelation 8 you don't want to hear, but the trumpet in 1 Thessalonians 4 is in regard to the return of Christ for his own. The Thessalonians were wanting more answers about what the second coming of Christ looked like. They were no different than us today. And so Paul gave whatever insight the Lord prompted him to give. One of those phrases that he wrote there in chapter 4 is one that we are all fairly familiar with. When he said, and the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the archangel and with a loud trumpet. So the question was, that trumpet, the trumpet we want to hear in 1 Thessalonians 4, will only Christians hear that or will that be heard around the world like the trumpets in Revelation 8? Well, I had to think about that. And my answer was, I think only Christians will hear it. It was after class, though, that the Holy Spirit brought to my mind a couple of passages that indicate that only Christians will hear it. Now, the, let me be clear. The, the scriptures do not say. But if we look at scripture systematically, there are some clues that perhaps only Christians will hear that trumpet. Let me cite those two passages. First of all, Paul wrote to the Corinthians in his first letter, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. He writes about the unbelieving, the non-saved person who does not accept the things of God. And he goes on to say that that person is incapable of understanding them. The message of the cross is foolishness to them. And it could be that the trumpet of God in 1 Thessalonians 4 is not even discernible to that person either. The other passage that came to mind was out of John chapter 10. Now, Jesus, the greatest teacher of all time, was using stories and metaphors and illustrations. And as the great shepherd, he said to them, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. There was and is an, an, an intimate relationship between the shepherd and their sheep. Even if you have a pet today and you call their name, they're going to recognize your voice if you've had them for some time. Well, the same applied then as it does now to shepherds and their sheep. They knew the voice of their shepherd. Those who have not professed Christ do not know that voice. So it could be that just as the sheep know the voice of their shepherd and only his sheep, it could be that only we, his sheep, hear his trumpet as well. So that's just some insight. It may be that way. It may not. But I can tell you this. When Jesus comes back and that trumpet is blown, if you have professed your faith in Christ, you're going to hear that music. And what a song that will be. I hope to see you on Sunday as we continue through these trumpet judgments and we embark on Revelation chapter 9 when literally all hell breaks loose. I love you all. See you soon.